Hello. In this video we will show you how to create the IIS web farm using high availability set and external load balancer in Azure portal. Here is the POC network overview. We need to create a virtual network. Availability set, network security group and external load balancer. We have already created a network named Virtual Network Arm in 192.168.0.0 Flash 16 network. Also, we have created a subnets for web tier and data tier in 192.168.8.0 Flash 24 and 192.168.9.0 Flash 24 networks. We created a storage account named Data Tier Storage 01 and Verier Storage 01. For this demo, we are using only the Verier Storage 01 account as primary storage for all web tier VM VHDs. Now, we are creating new availability set for web tier VMs. Provide a name for the availability set and select the existing resource group. Also set the fault and update domains for this availability set. As we are using the traditional storage account for this demo, we have disabled the Manage Disk by selecting No option. For more information, please check the blog link in the description box. Availability set is created successfully. We have created three network security group rules and we are using only two groups for this demo. For data tier group, we have added RDP and HTTP incoming rule. For jump box group, we have added only the RDP rule. We have already created a jump box with Windows OS and public IP address. We need to create two new web tier VMs. Creating the first web tier VM with Windows 2016 OS.
as we are using the traditional storage account. We disabled managed disk for this demo. Also, select the newly created availability set from the list. Select the web tier storage account. Also, select the virtual network web tier subnet and disable the public IP address. As these machines will be accessed only internally through Jumpbox. Also, select the web tier network security group. It will take few minutes to complete the installation. AZ Web 01 machine is ready now. Creating the second VM named AZ Web 02. Follow the same steps as you did for AZ Web 01 VM. AZ Web 02 VM is created successfully. To view the internal VM IPs, go to Virtual Network Link and you will able to see the VM IPs under Connected Devices. Accessing the web tier VM through jump box. We have installed IIS services on both web tier VMs. We created a custom page and placed it under default website in both the VMs.
We have already created a public IP address group for external load balancer. Finally, we need to create the load balancer for this web farm. Provide a name for the load balancer and select the IP type as public and select the public address group. Also select the subscription type, resource group. Front-end IP configuration will be added by default. No changes required from our end. Add the web tier VMs in the backend pool one by one from the availability set list. Both the VMs has been added in the backend pool list. Create a new health probe for port TCP80. At last, we need to add the load balancing rule for the web tier VMs. As our IIS VMs are listening to default HTTP port 80. We set the external port and internal port as a D for this demo. Access the public load balancer IP in the browser. The HTTP traffic are forwarding to Web01 and Web02 through Azure External Load Balancer. Thanks for watching this video.